Hello guys, welcome back to another day of Juicy June. This is what, the last week of it, I think? And it's Tuesday. Yesterday I had kind of like a reset type of day because I had a very, very busy weekend. So I need to do like all of my ingredient prepping, my veggie prep, my just my food for the week. You guys have seen in like all of my other videos. Um, I make like big batches of food to last me throughout the week so that I can eat lunches and everything really, really easily. And tons of like veggie combo so that I can throw that into my meals. So for this week, we already did our grocery shopping yesterday. We went to Aldi. I figured we could prep all of our food. Um, I do this every single week. I am not like successful at all in my like healthy lifestyle, diet, whatever. If these things are not like easily and like readily available to me. So I figured I would turn on the camera. We would do this together. Maybe one day this week I'll do another what I eat in a day because you guys seem to really, really like that one. Fruits that I want to cut and prep. I have some chicken right here that I'm gonna be throwing in the crock pot in a second. Bell pepper and zucchini, which I try to do every single week because it's just really easy to fill my food with veggies. I have some leftover jasmine rice here um, that I'm going to mix with a bag of rice cauliflower. That's gonna be like my rice combination for the week. Broccoli that I steamed yesterday, so I'm just gonna add this to like my veggie mix. And then I have some red onion. So for this week, I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna be putting the chicken in the crock pot with um, barbecue sauce and a ranch packet seasoning. I've never done that. And that's gonna be my like lunch protein for maybe like the next two days. It won't make enough to give me like that much, but for the next two days, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do um, a bean salad that I saw on TikTok. And it was, if you guys have ever heard of like the viral grinder, sandwich that it's like it has like a ton of like it almost looks like italian honestly like it has like uh bell peppers um red onion red wine vinegar like it's like a really like savory tart type of salad and i saw a video of it on tiktok and it looked really good and the girl instead of putting it inside of a sandwich she just made like a massive batch of salad of it and then added beans for protein and salami so i'm gonna make that i'm gonna stir fry a whole bunch of vegetables put those all together and then my breakfast i got these protein waffles from aldi yesterday just to switch it up because i've been doing eggs every single day and i am like i need to take a break from the eggs so the protein waffles are buttermilk and vanilla flavored and then i threw strawberries and blueberries but I just want to clean all of my berries and cut all of these so that I don't have to do it every single day. It just makes it easier to manage. So first thing I'm going to do is get the crock pot going with the chicken and the ranch seasoning. So I have a couple of little chicken tenderloins in here that I already like kind of got ready yesterday. So I'm just going to put them in there. This right here, which is Hidden Valley ranch seasoning. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to do too much because... I only have three tenderloins and then I'll just save this for if I want to make this again later on in the week. Sprinkle the ranch seasoning. I did like a little less than half and then barbecue sauce. So I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's. This, you could definitely get like a healthier alternative if you wanted to do like sugar free or something like that. I'm not doing any of that. Like I'm not doing sugar free. So we're just going to go that and then put the lid on probably be done in like two or three hours so that is item number one cooked then let's do the berries so I'm gonna cut them up and then I'm going to clean them with uh, like a fruit and veggie wash I'm just gonna put the whole pack of blueberries into I have like a little bowl here and then I'm gonna cut the strawberries so that it's just easier to clean them. Okay, so everything is cut up here. And I have a fruit and veggie wash that's from Trader Joe's. Excuse me, Nini. I'm sorry, buddy. I 
have this fruit and veggie wash um, from Trader Joe's. You can make your own, I think, but I have this. So I'm gonna use it and I just put a little bit in there and then run this underwater. I'm gonna let that sit. <clears throat> We're gonna cut some vegetables. I'm gonna do just one of the zucchinis and then I'll do one bell pepper for this prep because the other bell peppers I'm gonna use in the bean salad. Okay, and you guys already know, if you're not using a chopper, you're doing everything wrong. Veggies are gonna go into this bowl. And I'm gonna throw the broccoli in there too. Now for the bean salad. I'm gonna clean my hair off. Okay, so it's called the grinder bean salad. This looks delicious. I will leave it linked down below. Red onion, two bell peppers, flat leaf parsley. I don't have parsley. I don't even really care for parsley, so I'm not gonna like use it. A can of garbanzo beans and a can of white beans. I'm not a fan of garbanzo, so I'm just gonna do White beans, so I have two cans of cannellini beans. Half a pound of peppered salami. So I have this one. This has like three different types of salami in there. So I'll use that. A fourth cup of red wine vinegar, a half a cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of oregano, lemon. I don't have lemon. Oh well, I have lime, I'll use that. <laughs> Even though it's not the same, but whatever. So onion and then bell pepper. So that's what we're gonna chop first. I'm just gonna clean these. This is my bread bowl. My bread bowl. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. Let's see. That was harder than I expected. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll skip that and just slice. I don't have banana peppers, but I do have Pepperoncini, so we're gonna do that instead. I feel like it kind of tastes the same, or it gives like the same vibe. One more small one. Damn, these are juicy pepperoncinis. Quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Here's some red wine vinegar. Half a cup of olive oil. A lot of freaking olive oil. And then dried oregano. Surprised they didn't do any salt or anything or like pepper. But anyways, okay. Let me clean my surface. Cause if not, I will go into a fucking panic. This is massive. Okay, here's what it looks like. Only thing is, is that mine doesn't look like green because I don't have parsley. So, it does look a little bit different, but this is gonna be so good meal prepped. It's gonna grind your sandwich in salad in a one. So this is gonna be for lunch for the week. Aside from my barbecue chicken situation that's going on in here. I'm going to take a break and eat because I am extremely hungry. So I'm going to eat like a nice big portion of this 
um, bean salad and then we're gonna go into cooking all the rest of the stuff prepping everything putting everything away and that'll be it you guys this bean salad is so good I'm going in for another another serving this is incredible could not recommend it more my friend my friend told me to try it with bana, like tostone de bana. I can imagine this with like over some rice. Please make this. I'm gonna finish this and we'll be back. I'm gonna be so honest. I did not expect that to be that good. There's a couple, a little bit more because I'm pretty full. Who would have thought? I mean, of course you're gonna get full. There's protein, there's lots of fiber because of the beans. That was 10 times better than I expected it to. Highly recommend. Now we're by the stove, because now it's time to cook a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> okay, first I'm gonna do the veggies. So, got my pan, and I'm just gonna put some avocado oil. And we're gonna season them pretty simply. I'm gonna do garlic sea salt with parsley and a little bit of this butter garlic seasoning. Got all my fruit cleaned, ready to eat. I'm gonna do some onion powder. Okay, this is pretty much done. Last. Okay, now that the rice has been cooking, I'm gonna add regular jasmine rice. Okay, let's go check on this chicken, which it should be just about done, honestly. Oh yeah, and it's just gonna fall right apart. That looks delish. So, real quick, let's shred her up and then I can put her in a Tupperware. And I can show you guys how bomb everything looks that is completely cooked, prepped, seasoned, everything is ready to go. And all I gotta do is combine them into bowls, heat them up and we're good to go. I'm telling you guys, this has made the biggest change in my, or the biggest difference in my like health journey, weight loss journey, if you've been keeping along with that. Um, if I do not do this, I'm not kidding. If I do not do this, I, f I fail every single time. I need to have food that's readily available for me to make, especially for lunches, because for lunch, I'm not trying to cook. I'm not trying to cook for every single meal. I just want my food to be done, and I can just add it to a bowl, heat it up if I need to, whether it's microwave or, or on the stove or the air fryer or whatever, honestly. And I just want it to be done, like quick, easy. I'm not trying to think about it. And a lot of the times I will only do um, one meal for the week for lunch, just because again, it's easy. I'll pick one protein. I'll have either tortillas or I'll have the rice cauliflower mixture. And then I'll just add different sauces because sauces make the world go round. Yeah, and this is literally just like falling apart, like shredding apart. It's like perfectly cooked. I'm gonna try a little piece. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. So I can literally eat this with the bean salad. I could eat this with just the vegetables and the cauliflower, the rice cauliflower mixture. It's just so easy. Let's put this in a Tupperware and we are done. What time is it? It's not even two o'clock and all of my food is ready for the week. This obviously is not a lot. Like it's a couple different chicken tenderloins. I'll probably use this for like two lunches and be done. Um, so you can make this with way, way, way more food and that would be better. So here's what we're looking like. So we have, sorry, it's about to start raining so it's a little gloomy. Cauliflower rice and rice mixture, two Tupperwares of the bean salad, all of our vegetables, Here's our strawberries and blueberries prepped, cut, and ready to go, and our chicken. So it's like all of this is perfect. I can combine so many of these things. I can have some of these as a snack. I can add 
these vegetables to this. I can eat this with this. I can eat this with this. So it's just easy. I don't have to think about anything. If I'm hungry, I know there's food already prepped in the fridge for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to do what I eat in a day someday this week. I'll give you guys some like weight loss or like fitness updates. I'm still doing pretty much the same thing, which is um, two walks a day, at least an hour overall. And um, just eating super, super healthy. And it's made a world of a difference to my body. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I hope you guys try at least that bean salad. That shit is so good. And I'll see you guys in the next video.